Hello everyone, we are the Night Owls and you're listening to Beyond the Bookshelf, where I, Chakshu, I, Anushka, I, Safi, and I, Manushri, will talk about books. In today's episode, we are reviewing Matt Haig's Midnight Library. The book is about a 35-year-old woman, Nora Seed. Nora regrets not living her life the way she wants to. She regrets not being a swimmer, not being in a band with her brother, not being a philosopher, a traveler, or a glaciologist. She regrets not being happy or loved due to all the various letdowns happening around her, like the death of a cat, her being of no use to her elderly neighbor anymore. She felt shattered and useless. She saw no meaning to live, and one day, she decided to end it all. This is where our story begins. She was not dead. She was not in the afterlife but somewhere in between a structure which occupies a magical space between life and death. She had read somewhere into a library, but only this library had infinite shelves. Here, every book provided a chance to try another life one could have lived, to see how things would have been different if they made other choices. This was her chance to undo her regrets. I like this book because it's well written. The storyline is presented in a smooth but vivid manner. It is very engaging and I just couldn't keep the book down, especially the chapter in which she chooses to become a glaciologist had me on my ends. In this chapter, she faces a bear, she faces death. This is when she gets to know what she did was not want to die, but want to escape. Yeah, that's true. But when but she meets another guy during her journey as a glacial artist. His name is Hugo. Hugo teaches Nora about the structure of sliding in between lives and they form a connection. There, she figures out that she isn't the only one in between life and death. And that's a good plot created. One of my personal favorite chapters is the one where she met her dad. I think that chapter is really emotional because her dad died when she was a teenager and she had always missed him. It's a good chapter, not gonna lie, but I like the chapter where she picks her first book. She opens her book of regrets. This book is filled with her regrets, obviously. When she opens the book, she gets overwhelmed. All her regrets together make it difficult for her to stay calm. She chooses an alternate life eventually and figures that she had made a better decision in her real life and left the alternate life and came back to the library. Isn't that cool that you think of not living in this life and just switch it? Yeah, and also it was the first regret. First are always important. She regretted not opening up Avatan, even though she knew why she left him. When she reached her other life in the park, she was clueless that she didn't know what to say, what to do, just the way we are right now. And this is something I could relate to, to be honest. So overall, there are many beautiful chapters to relate to. And for people like me who would rather not read a book because it does not end on a good note, don't worry guys, it ends on a good note. But we are not going to spoil the complete ending for y'all. So please go and read the book. You would surely love it. Also, it's a really good book to start reading for people who don't like reading books. It's a good book to start with. It has an interesting concept even though it goes a bit slow, I must say it's really worth the wait. So in the end, we would like to conclude that this is a fairly good book and I personally would rank it a 7 out of 10. Why a 7? Why not a 9? Yeah, I know, right? I agree with you. I think this book deserves at least a 9 because the book is really realistic about emotions and it's like really raw. It does not exaggerate anything. And it also motivates us to continue living like who we are. It just helps us to be ourselves. So why not? Hmm. I agree with you. I'll give it to you. 
still can i tell the people who are listening to this podcast that the book midnight library is available in local bookstores and crossword it's worth your time and money so read it at least once it's worth it so thank you for giving us all your time and listening to us here we are signing off for another interesting review by night owls stay tuned until then bye 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 bye, bye.